All right, hello everyone. Today we're going to take a look at uh, modding, specifically uh, for Super Smash Brothers Wii U uh, in Simu. So before we do this, there's probably going to be a, a few things you're going to want to do. Um, of course, before you decide to mod, it's probably best that you make a copy of your uh, the folder of the game that you wish to mod. See, in my case, I have Smash Brothers Wii U, the one I'm going to mod, and the folder uh, labeled dash copy, just in case something goes wrong, uh, as you won't be able to get stuff back when you make changes. Uh, you want to be want to be sure about that. So once you've made a copy, which can take quite a long time if you have a uh, stuff not stored on a fast storage device, um, you're going to need two things. One, the mod that you want. In my case, I'm going to install Trash with a 4 in there. I actually already have the mod installed, but I will still go through the process and show you guys the end result. Um, usually they're going to be, they're going to come in a zip file. Um, and the best site, uh, I think it's Game Banana. Uh, they provide a lot of modding stuff, especially related to Smash 4, so you can go there. Uh, so download the file. It'll probably, probably be in a zip file. Uh, unzip it. And then you're going to want another um, zip file. I will put the link in the description. It's called the Smash Modding Pack. As you can see here, it's going to have a lot of stuff in it. You don't necessarily need to unzip it. I haven't unzipped it, and it works just fine. So we're going to put this off to the side. We're going to open another window right here. Oh, I do not want to put it over there. Uh, let's see. Let's open up the directory. Or we have Smash Brothers, just so we can uh, keep this handy as we're going to want to modify a few things in here once we are done. So close that out. Get your modding, uh, your folder with your mod in it, and the zip file with the modding pack. In the zip file, double click, double click Smash Explorer. Double click the executable Smash File Explorer.exe. Uh, it may take a second or two to load uh, for the first time, but sometimes it won't. Uh, when you open it up, you're going to be brought with a screen like this. Um, I'm sorry, I can't really zoom in a whole lot. But basically, uh, well, you might not be brought to the screen like this. When you first load this application up, it's probably going to ask you for your Smash Brothers directory in which you direct it to the folder where you have um, Smash Brothers installed. I've already done that, and once you do that, you should have a screen that comes up with this stuff here. If you haven't, then you're doing something wrong. Uh, you can go to Project Options, and I'm pretty sure it'll it'll show uh, all the directories in which you have um, your stuff, and you should be able to modify things like that. So once you're here, you need to have Smash Explore and your mod folder open. Uh, open the US, and you'll see you have Data US EN and Data. You have Data US EN, Data US France, yeah, whatever. Um, since I picked the US folder, uh, it's not going to have, it's only going to have these two folders here. So go over to Smash Explorer, you can open up stuff, and you should get, uh, same amount of things here. Now, the quickest way to do this, um, in the folder containing the mod, double click, for instance, data, and you'll have fighter, or you'll, <laughs> not fighters, you'll have folders that are also app apparent in the folders that were listed when I clicked on data. You should be able to highlight these. Um, or actually, no, you're not gonna be able to do that. Uh, I am sorry. Uh, see, uh, find the first folder in the mod and find that folder here. Uh, so for instance, fighter, we're gonna click on fighter and we're gonna have a lot of stuff. Now what we should be able to do is open up fighter and we have a lot of stuff in here. When you drag folders from here into Smash Explorer, it's not going to replace. Well, it, it will replace if um, there's stuff that needs to be modified, but it's not going to get rid of anything. It's only going to replace and add stuff. So let's uh, highlight everything here, take it and drag it, and we can drop it in this uh, fighter here, fighter folder here, and it will make everything green once it uh, finishes. Yep, there we go it will have changed everything there. 
Now we can go back out. Uh, go back, go to param. Where's param? Here it is. Just take these three, move them right into param. It'll do that. Go back out. We got stage. Go find stage. Melee. Just take stage, drag it right into melee. The modded folders will turn green. Uh, keep that in mind. We'll go into UI. Find UI. Oh, don't want to do that. Drag that into UI. It'll turn green. And now we have done everything for data um, regular. Now go into data USEN or whichever next one. Whichever one is next. Go into param. And we'll have battle object and fighter. And we should just be able to take them and drop it into param. And that should be it uh, for this first part, of course. Once you are done, go to the Smash Explore whatever project, build the mod. It will say this feature will re rebuild the resource files and patch file. That's what you want to happen. Hit OK. It's going to do stuff down here. It might go unresponsive for a little bit, but that's fine. It should uh, should respond after a few seconds. So we'll just uh, wait for this here. There we go. Bottom, completed compilation of the mod. Now, you are not exactly done. Go to directories and hit open export directory. You're going to be brought to a thingy here. It'll have a folder called release. You can close out of Smash Explorer. Um, it might tell you that some files were whatever changed and you want to put them in the archive. Yeah, you're probably going to want to do that if you did not extract the folders and files in the modding pack archive. So we can close out of the mod here. Go to keep this window open and go to the folder where our game directory is located. Now all we have to do, go to our game uh, content patch and we're going to see a bunch of stuff here. Go back to the export folder, double click release, double click content, double click patch and we're going to have stuff in here. Just take them, bring them over, replace any files that need to be replaced and the modding process should be finished. Let's go ahead and test out our mod here. Uh, should be under here. Oop. If everything went right, which uh, should be, uh, I, I installed this mod before and I basically just overwrote everything and reinstalled it. Um, should be good. Uh, it's a black screen, of course, which can be fixed by going into your input, disabling all input, waiting for the screen to turn green or whatever. Enable input again. I'm going to import my controller profile. I fought 10 battles. How neat. Oh yeah, I think I did do that yesterday. I was just playing around with the mod. Um, just to give you guys a uh, better look, I'm going to drag this over to my second monitor, a bigger look at the least. Uh, turn off my primary monitor, turn on my secondary, and stretch it out. All right. Just so you have guys have a little uh, bigger view than you did before. Of course, the audio is going to be screwed up, but you know, what can you do? Right. Uh, one thing I did notice, uh, there are supposed to be some UI changes with this mod, um, but you can't hope for everything in a work in progress Wii U emulator, can you? We're just going to pick Ganondorf, because I know he's, uh, I know he's pre-cached. Alright, so, essentially this mod just makes a lot of people overpowered, which you can clearly tell already. Um, so, from what I can tell, the mod is working just fine. 
We can go and test another character if we really want to. Which I'll do. I like Lucas personally. So yeah, looks like the mod is working. Uh, if you guys had any issues, of course, leave a comment down below. Uh, I made this video specifically because uh, while in the progress of searching up how to mod for Wii U inside of Simu, I didn't exactly find a whole lot. Um, so I hope this helped you guys out, <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next video.